Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today I wanna to put a support video out to help folks that have the DOIO hit pads. I have all three of the version ones. I have the mini, the hit pad standard, and the hit pad pro. I like all of them, the build quality is fantastic. No, they're all metal with acrylic on the bottom, very nice lights. Uh, when they come out the box, they come with 077 firmware installed. The pass-through ports that are built in are turned off. And if you connect the power to the pad and then connect an adapter and plug that adapter into the console, you're able to play and you can have a good time, you'll have no issues. But the moment you attempt to go into the web configurator and change anything, you're gonna run into problems. So if you wanna change the colors of your lights, you wanna change your splash screen, you wanna remap some buttons, everything will work fine, but when you save it and reboot, the controller may freeze or the screen may be black or some buttons may not work. There are weird things that'll happen. So I've seen this on all three of my DOIOs. I've been reached out to by about three or four folks at this point. I've helped them get their controllers back up and running. And I've seen a couple other folks online that have had the same issues. So I wanna share my fix and my advice. So my first piece of advice is, is as soon as you get this pad, go online and download the latest GP2040 Pico, P-I-C-O version. That's the version I use. Also check the DOIO support page. They may have the latest firmware there as well, but I've been using the Flash nuke and the pico firmware and i've had no issues so i download those two files i drop the flash nuke file on the controller i drop the latest firmware on the controller i connect the controller to the web config i do a backup i then reboot into boot cell i drag the latest flash nuke onto the controller when it comes back up i drag the latest firmware onto the controller when it comes back up i unplug it and here's the issue i found sometimes the start and select button are swapped so my advice to you is hold start, connect to your PC. If it does not work, unplug it, hold select, plug it back in. If that doesn't work, just go down the top row and you will find the key where start has moved to and that'll allow you to get everything back up and running. Once you're able to get into the web configurator, everything is fine. You can set all your settings as you normally would. You hit save, reboot, and when the controller comes back up, it'll be working just fine. But again, this is something I've seen out the box where if you use an adapter at the end of the cord, you will not have this issue because it's in X input mode. But if you go into the web configurator for any reason to change anything as you can with, I mean, it's GP24, so any pad run the software works just fine. It's not the software. I just think whatever machine they're using to push the firmware to these controllers, something's just not right with that version of firmware they're pushing. So flash nuke it, load the latest firmware, Go back in webconfig, set up the way you like it, and you'll be off to the races, you'll be happy. And I'll share screenshots of all three of my controller settings because I'll also show you how to turn on the pass-through port and you will need to set the turbo pin to negative one. I'll show you how to do that as well. That way you can use pin number 15, which is one of the buttons on the front of certain controllers. So I paid for these pads and I've been received other pads for review. I haven't sent any of them back. So I love the hardware. Everything is nice. It's just that machine, whatever machine they're using to push the firmware, there's something wrong. So now you've seen all my screenshots. Like I said, everything's working fine for me now. I've gone back in and changed settings and saved and rebooted and come back out. I've had no issues. So I do believe out the factory is just whatever firmware, however it's being pushed, that build is corrupted somehow. 
and it's not being delivered properly out the factory. But when you get it yourself, this is a standard GP2040 controller. When you flash it, it works just fine and you'll be all set. And you can customize it again and again. Hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.